What's up, Wayne Barron here with darkeffects.net, and I am on or in Windows 7, that is, and I'm working inside of IS7. And what I'm going to show you here is how to back up your meta database. It's basically, if you have a lot of um, websites, you don't want to have to redo these websites in case you have a, a, a hard drive failure or something like that, or a virus or whatever that takes out your IIS, you want to be able to have a backup so that you don't have to recreate all these sites again. The ones that's got the little errors here are sites. The rest of the stuff is just folders within the main default website. So how you do this is that you go to start, type in CMD, right click, and choose run as an administrator and choose yes. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're inside of our C Windows System 32 so we need to go inside of INET server which is uh, where the database is going to be stored, or, or stored at, the backup is going to be stored at. So now what we want to do is that we want to type in the following app Oops, command, that's APPCMD add backup. Now that is the folder, so that's going to be the name of the folder is backup, space CFFIS. Okay, so this is the name of our backup. You can name this anything you want, I'm just naming it CFF underscore IIS. And then you click on enter. And it's saying the backup object with identifier CFFIS already exists, so let's go ahead and give it another one app cmd add backup cff underscore is7 okay now it's saying that it has a backup object cff is7 added so let's go ahead and go inside of that folder location windows go down to system 32 and then down to INET server and inside this folder right here backup there's two folders here both of them are identical uh, this is from earlier so that the one we just created go in and it has these five files inside of it and this right here is your backup so if you ever lose your backup or lose your your sites this is where you get them now it's because they're sitting in here does not make them safe okay so what we do is that we find another place to put them so inside of my office drive here I've got a IIS folder and inside of there I've got Windows System 32 INET server backup drag drop yes to replace yes to replace that one and then choose to replace them all and then inside of here we have the same folders that are inside of this location so that if we do have to reinstall our C drive we've got our backup sitting in another location so that we don't lose it it's also good to have another backup of this which would be to back it up to a a server somewhere so in our case we would go over here and we would go inside of cars dev which is this one and then which is the folder for this user and then we'll click over here and then we'll just drag and drop and now we've got a backup sitting over here inside of this folder on my server one sitting inside of my office drive and then the one sitting inside of here so there's three locations that this file is located at so that we can always get access to it at any time so anyway, this is Wayne Brown with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rockin' rest of the week. Alright, bye-bye.